since we move around let's also start adding our animations I do have two animations just an idle and a simple walk nothing really major you can just use any animations you want in this case not really going to worry about that so I'm going to use an animator controller I'm going to make a folder and I'm going to create an animator controller in here which I'm going to say player on the animator then I'm just going to drop the idle and walk okay this is a very retro style type of game so we can just use some basic locomotions uh, actually okay let's bring this slightly into this century so I'm just going to say forward and I'm actually going to delete these two and just create a blend tree for locomotion normal open it up and the blend tree a simple directional one direction uh, blend tree should work just fine I'm going to add three motion fields this one will be the idle we can add walk and we can also add walk backwards since tank controls have this I'm simply going to switch this to minus one and say minus one it's not going to be that uh, you know that nice okay just keep that in mind and we can keep moving awesome so now we have also our animator we know that we access things from our player state manager that means we can have the animator reference here on init we can also assign the references to the animator or the other references we need so in this case we can just do get component children animator okay and now we have these I'm going to add the animation references on the player movement since it makes sense since we already have all these all these things here so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to say float uh, forward anim equals forward amount greater than zero or 0 0.1 or whatever let's say 0 0.1 or just 0 I guess will be 1 otherwise will just be 0 if forward anim uh, if forward amount is lower than 0 then that means it's going backwards so that will be forward anim minus 1 okay we can now of course make another ternary over here so you can just do forward amount greater than zero uh, lower than zero then minus one otherwise zero okay if that confuses you is basically this if statement okay so if it's zero then it's just going to stay zero then you can just do player states animator set float we should be using a hash sets for this so okay let's go and do that on player state manager let's say let's do a region anims and region and I'm gonna just do public anim has or is it anim has set how was it yeah I totally forgot so let's do let's check this it's name hmm. yeah whatever let's just use forward for now I'm going to find it I'm going to remember it later forward for the forward anim and just use a damn time about 0.2 player states dot delta time let's remove this for now okay so this will move you 
either forward or backwards depending what you are pressing when you are inside tank controls for this now for camera oriented controls it's super easy since we only have one direction which that is of course forward so you can just change this method and just check for player states dot move amount so basically this which means forward anim start zero and if you are actually moving forward anim equals one and there you go you now have animations minimize this let's switch to our scene let's make sure our base model actually have the animator controller save and hit play you will see that it starts on idle now and when moving it actually moves around when rotating it doesn't however on tank controls so we kind of want to just do something i think we're just going to go with the retro resident evil one uh, way of moving also you will notice that our model is kind of a little bit offset it why that is is because we have enable apply root motion we don't want the root object to ever move or an offset so i'm just going to disable root motion let's go add on tank controls and we're going to say if forward amount so on and so on and we can do the same thing here for forward amount greater than zero or let's see if forward anim less than or actually just say horizontal i guess if turn amount is greater than zero forward anim set it to one so let's make it if you are moving if you are rotating you can't actually no that will not really make sense let's leave it like this okay so if you are rotating then forward anim is going to be one unless a forward amount actually if forward amount is less or equals to zero then forward anim is going to be one else if forward amount so yeah basically it's just going to be minus one so if you are moving backwards and rotating you're still going to play the backward animation but that's more have to do you know when you are rotating without actually working okay and that didn't work it did work but but yeah because we are using the the turn amount this can be negative so that means we need to know the absolute value of our turn amount okay and we can judge from that okay so if i'm walking backwards i can still rotate and if i'm moving forward i can still rotate and it will work just fine awesome so we now have our movement for tank controls let's also see the camera oriented controls which are fairly simple we just move forward in any direction where we are moving since there's no backwards since if you press backwards you're simply going to rotate inwards the camera it's a little bit simpler so you need even less animations I guess okay so there goes the animations for this uh, at least for our controller this will be enough on the next part excuse me so on the next part we're going to focus and see what the hell are we going to do about moving out of bounds because as you can see we're basically just flying off the world here okay so we'll do that next as always you know what to do like subscribe and if you like to see more stuff like this of course consider supporting my patreon so we can keep making a lot more of these videos i'll see you next time